In this video, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of the area of Midland, Michigan. And that's coming up right now. Hey, my name is Michael. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Preferred in Saginaw. I service the real estate needs of Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, and other surrounding communities in the Mid-Michigan area. Here on YouTube, I make videos about the Mid-Michigan area, including what it's like living here and other great topics. So if you like what you're watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting new videos each week. For this week's video, I wanted to go over the Midland area. Now you may be interested in moving to the Midland, Michigan area, by the way, not to be confused with Midland, Texas. It is the westernmost of the Tri-Cities area of mid-Michigan, with Saginaw being at the south and Bay City being at the northeast. It's well known for being the home of the Dow Chemical Company, which is basically the economic driving force of the Midland area. And Midland is a great place to live. There are very nice neighborhoods over there, Crime-wise, they're relatively safe compared to the national average. They also have a nice public school system. There are a lot of things to do. They have a wide, diverse range of food cultures. There's just so much to offer in that small town. What I'm going to offer you today is sort of a bird's eye view. I'm going to get into Google Maps and give you a tour of different parts of the Midland area. Now, I did do a video earlier. It was actually the first video I uploaded to this channel. It's called Cost of Living in Midland, Michigan. It's a pretty short video. I go over basically a bird's eye view of how much it costs to live in the area. And it's a relatively low cost of living compared to other parts of the country. Without further ado, let's go on a quick Google Maps tour of Midland, Michigan. All right, so here we have the city of Midland. It is located in the northwest portion of the Tri-City area. Right here we have Saginaw and there's Bay City. And right here is Midland. It is just to the east of Mount Pleasant and southeast of Clare. Let's focus on Midland today. So let's start here in the southwest. Starting with the downtown area. Well, there are three bridges that get into the downtown area. This one from Poseyville Road. So it heads north and then turns northeast and crosses the Titabawasi River right here into Midland. It turns into one-way streets going northeast and southwest. And right here is Main Street. It takes you to all the businesses that are in the downtown district. A bulk of them are along Main Street. You get other businesses like on Ashman, for example, you have Proper Taco and Witchcraft Tap Room and Pizza Sam's. And right here you have the H Hotel and the Midland County Courthouse right here. And some offices. And there's plenty of stuff to offer here in the downtown Midland area. When you have Senior Living Community, Riverside Place. And you have a new arcade here, the Star Arcade Bar and Grill. I own a new bookstore that just opened called Bookmarks. And the Ace Hardware and Sports right here. The Ace Hardware which has been in Midland like forever. And over on this side you get the East End building which is fairly new. It was built and it houses several offices and a few businesses including Maru Sushi and State Street Cafe right here. And right here on the far east end is the Dow Diamond, home of the Great Lakes Loons baseball team. And their parking lot, by the way, is what's currently being used for the Midland area farmers market. The old farmers market location was right here. This ring-shaped structure right here. It's at the end of McDonald Street and Ashman Street. They kind of stopped using it around the pandemic era of 2020. Well, there was some structure damage from the 2020 dam failures, from what I understand, and the parking lot provided plenty more space. At the time, there was social distancing. At this time, they're still using that for the farmer's market.
around here there's some more businesses just outside of downtown you get live oak coffee house here in ashman dan dan the mattress man other places oh and right here my favorite place radio wasteland records it's a record store i'm into my new and vintage vinyl i'm a music collecting geek so that's one of my favorite places right there it's on george street just a minute or two away from downtown and right here's midland public schools administrative building we have churches and plenty of homes here really nice neighborhoods around here overall i would say See along here, get some other places. As we go along East Patrick Road that goes to the west, Lion Road goes to the east. These are the roads that take us to different parts of Midland. The first we'll look here. This is another bridge that gets into the Midland area. This is M20, Isabella Street. In Mount Pleasant, this road is known as Pickard. This goes all the way over to Mount Pleasant. Over here, it's Isabella Street. Right here is Curry Golf Course and Curry Parkway. This road also goes into Midland with the Curry Parkway Bridge. This bridge is now a one-way and it's northeast bound. They recently made it a one-way because there were two times recently that the bridge was damaged from overweight vehicles crossing it. They decided to after fixing it, they decided to make it one way a few years ago, and they made that change permanent in early 2020. And then at some point, the bridge got damaged again from another overweight vehicle crossing it, so they made some additional repairs and changes to the structure. It is open again, but again, it is one way going into Midland. You can't get into the golf course from here you'd have to go down 20 and you can just turn right in Curry Parkway and there you are. Going over here on this side of the Tidwasser River you have Emerson Park and this is where Main Street curves into and you also have the Pier Marquette Rail Trail running along Main Street here it kind of the rail trail starts in the old farmers market area and just goes northwest. The Pier Marquette Rail Trail goes through Sanford, Coleman, goes all the way up to Clare. And here you have Northwood University. And there's some condominium units. HH the High School right here. This is where Main Street and Saginaw Road will intersect. Over here you have the My Michigan Health hospital. Let's head back down here. This is Eastman Avenue. It turns into these two one-way streets that run along the different parts of Midland. Let's go north on Eastman. And over here you have Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. You have Whiting Forest. And down here you have Dow Gardens. It's right next to the Midland Center for the Arts, an arts organization. They have exhibits and they have theater and concerts, all kinds of cool stuff. The Alden B. Dow home right here. And again, this is Whiting Forest of Dow Gardens. It's a nature preserve. Over here, the Midland Country Club. Really nice area. Keep going north on Eastman, and we're back at Saginaw Road, where Eastman and Saginaw Road intersect. You get a bunch of businesses here. You get Garber Chevrolet, you have you know, your chains like Papa John's, Pizza Hut, Subway, and all that other stuff. Fast Eddie's. Oh, and Creation Coffee. This is where Creation Coffee is in Midland. On my TikTok, I've talked about their Saginaw location. Creation Coffee is also in Midland. 
in Mount Pleasant and Frankenmuth. I believe their Frankenmuth location is their most recent one. Here on Saginaw Road, you get Family Fair and Goodwill and the Pet Supply Store, other places. Oh, and there's another car dealer, Bet and Baker Buick, formerly known as McCardles. Get some more restaurants along here. Grand Traverse Pie Company in Midland, the Mexican restaurant. Keep going west on Saginaw Road. Again, there's the hospital down there. Let's zoom out just a bit. And there's Main Street again, H.H. H. Dow High School. There's more businesses along here. You have the Organic Market, health food store, organic foods and whatnot. Lanny's, which was formerly located in Sanford, their building got damaged in the dam failures. You know, of course, Sanford was hit hard by that back in 2020. So Lanny's moved here where the Stackers restaurant used to be. You have the pizza place, Pizza Dude, Frick Sports Bar. And further west on Saginaw Road, and there's Godwin's, Splash and Dash, Car Wash, Midland Brewing Company. It's a local brewery that operates in Midland. It's also a restaurant. And it's pretty much where the city limits end. And as you go further northwest on Saginaw Road, you go through Sanford and Coleman and eventually to Clare. Well, yeah, let's go back to Eastman. This way along Saginaw Road. Let's go southeast. And over here is the Ashman Circle. There's a lot of stuff in here. You get Gilroy's Hardware and several restaurants and shops. You get a quilt shop. You have a florist. You have a tobacco shop in Midland. Get some offices. You get a Rite Aid. And the Kroger is right here on Ashman Street. I personally don't like going to that Kroger. It's the parking lots are, it's it's always packed there in general. And there's a lot of traffic. I I know pers this is just a personal thing. I never like going to that Kroger. If I'm in Midland, I would prefer going to Aldi. Well, Aldi is just my favorite grocery store in general, but also Family Fair, which we looked at earlier, and you now there are other stores I like better than. Kroger, just on personal preference. And over here we have Circle Quality Shoes, Discount Tire, Mancino's Pizza and Grinders. By the way, around this area, this is the center city of Midland, so this would be the northwest part, starting with around the Circle area. You get staples like the Boulevard Lounge, Bar and Grill, Domino's, you get the Postal Service, Hungry Howie's Pizza, get some nail salons and offices around here. And further southeast on Saginaw Road, we continue going through the Center City District. Here's Dairy Queen, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, Walgreens, other stuff. Oh, Big B Coffee right here. I really like their Hemlock location. They have one in Midland. Big B's are everywhere pretty much here in Michigan. Yeah, there's Yaya's Flame Broiled Chicken. They're a local Michigan chain. They're really good. They're flame broiled chicken instead of fried chicken like, say, at KFC. Highly recommended. Oh, and there's Big Boy right here. It doesn't seem like there's as many of these around anymore. You're still in Midland. You have some fast food options. 
AutoZone Midland County Habitat for Humanity Restore right here on Saginaw Road. And, oh, and here's Pie's Chinese, a local Chinese restaurant, which seems to be getting back on its feet. They hired back their old kitchen staff and they're back up and running. From what I understand, they seem to be getting better again. They were on a decline in quality recently. That's the word in the street. I haven't tried them lately. And over here used to be Kmart. I don't think there's anything there right now. Over here is the China Palace, another Chinese restaurant. Bone Daddy's Barbecue. And then the former Kmart complex. There's still some other offices and businesses here. And right here is Jack's Fruit and Meat Market. And they're a locally owned chain in mid-Michigan with an emphasis on fresh meats and produce. The meats is their strong point for me. Another place I'd rather go than that Kroger near the circle. Get more fast food. And around here is where the center city district pretty much ends. Patrick and Lyon Road. If you go west, you're back in the downtown district right over there. As you keep going further southeast, there's some other places down here. You have the Taste of Midland. This area is restricted, the Dow North Gate, because Dow Chemical Company is right around here. Saginaw Road used to be open right through there. You could just go to that part of Midland all the way up through Saginaw Road. Now you can't. You'd have to go around it. I just go up Waldo, then turn left on Bay City Road right here. Speaking of Bay City Road, let's have a quick look down here. There's a bunch of industrial areas and some apartments. Here's the Bay City Road area. Bay City and Waldo. You have some places like Bicycle HQ, that's a bicycle shop. They're trying to get, they just built a strip complex around here. They don't have very many tenants there yet. Over here is Winter Winter, it's a recent chicken place. Yeah, McDonald's right there. Yeah, that's uh, Bay City Road and Waldo Avenue. There's some other industrial areas down here. Let's keep going north on Waldo. And there's Patrick right there. By the way, this area, this is where the Patrick and Lion Road one-way streets, this is where they turn into a freeway. This is Business 10. And this goes east in it. Yeah, merges on here. And this freeway, northwest, it goes along. It also runs through Sanford and Coleman and Clare. That's the way I take to go to Clare along that freeway. But back here, here's Waldo Avenue. And there's a lot of apartment complexes and Houses over here, and, and there's Davenport University, Midland Campus, some offices, some more nice neighborhoods around this area. And some apartments. And there's the end of the district right there. Oh, and up here is Wackerly, so here's the Center City District. Let's go north on Jefferson, and there's Wheeler. Some offices, churches. And here, and here's Wackerly. Sort of in the northern central portion of Places like Coffee Chaos, a bunch of offices, a pharmacy. And 
Muslims, Jewers, and Indian cuisine. Now let's see, let's get back to Eastman Avenue. This is Eastman and Wackerly right here. There's Antonio's further west, there's some hotels, other businesses. Antonio's restaurant, formerly known as Sherlene's Cuisine, it's now a different restaurant because the old Sherlene's is gone. That's a way to get onto Highway 10, eastbound. This is kind of like a rough bird's eye view of Midland that I'm giving you guys here. Further north on Eastman, you get into this district. Over here is the Midland Mall. It just got bought by a new owner. They have a whole bunch of empty anchor spaces from you know, Sears and J.C. Penney and Yonkers. But they have a Target here still. Looks like they've been having a Halloween store opening up in the, one of the vacant anchors. And there's still some tenants here, the Barnes and Noble. My family's classic favorite place to go Christmas shopping, by the way. And there's Alex's Rail Side, another Sanford staple that moved to Midland after the dam failures. Alex's Rail Side, they were located along the rail trail in Sanford. Their building got completely damaged. They, they tore it down and they're rebuilding it. But this is where the rail side is right now in the former Ruby Tuesdays. There's a food court here. Oh, Midland Burger Company, it says temporarily closed. Of course, they have such staples as sunny Japan. So yeah, that's the Midland Mall. Hopefully the new owners can breathe some new life into it. Oh, and there's the Midland County Fair, Fairgrounds right here. And the airport is around here as well and the National Guard. When you get Panda Express, the people in the Ask Midland Facebook group, I remember when they were going all nuts over Panda Express when that was supposed to be open. Now they're going nuts over a Popeyes that's going to be opening. You get other big chain restaurants further north. Taco Bell, Culver's, car dealer. And over here you get a Meyer and you get Walmart. And Aldi, yes, my favorite grocery store of all time, hands down. Aldi. And there's Home Depot. And Lowe's is further south here. Yeah, right there. Home Depot or Lowe's, you can take your pick. Other places up here. Ray's Bike Shop. They're located right next to the City Forest area now. This is Midland City Forest Park. And yeah, there's the northern end of the city limits. Oh, and I forgot this part of Bay City Road to the far east area you get Zoom in here. Oh, the Genghis Khan Mongolian Barbecue. That's a good place. And the Costco. Another place that the Ask Mipplin people were going nuts over. Now they're open and they're highly acclaimed. I don't go to Costco. I'm an Aldi's person. Oh, and there's the Valley Lanes Entertainment Center. The Great Hall Banquet and Convention Center, very nice place. I've been to a few events there. I, I even DJed a wedding there a few months ago. Really nice place. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Midland area. Oh, and over here you get the Cooling Pond, Dow Chemical. This is Posyville down here. 
This here is Overlook Park, where you get a really nice view of the cooling pond. This is where a lot of geese hang out, because there's fish in this pond, and that's what geese live off of. So, if you ride your bike in Overlook Park, get ready to meet some angry Canadian geese. You know, they use the bike trail as their toilet, so if you ride along it, they're gonna they're gonna be on the attack. Just a warning there. And this is just outside the Midland City Limit area. We get some businesses like McClellan's Trailer Supply. The Lodge Party Store used to be Poseyville Party Store, another business that got damaged in the flood in 2020. They actually closed and now some new people own it and they recently reopened it as the Lodge Party Store. It's really nice. There's Ted's Home and Lawn equipment. They managed to reopen, which is real nice. Oh, and let's check out another place, kind of just outside Midland. Go west on Ashby, then go north on Bedour Road, and you get to the Chippewa Nature Center. In this area. 1,200 acres with some education programs, and a lot of bike trails. You can get over there and enjoy their bike trails or hike or just explore nature. Yeah, that's pretty much the Midland area. Just a quick rough tour of it. Not even scripted, I mean, I'm just uh, talking as I go along. But uh, yeah, for anyone looking to live in Midland, I hope this was of some help. So I hope that this was insightful in one way or another. Again, Midland is a great place to live. Of course, I didn't cover all the details. Again, this was meant to be basically a bird's eye view of Midland, Michigan. But be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, I'll be doing different topics about different aspects of Midland and other communities in mid-Michigan. And that will all be in the coming weeks. In the meantime, once again, be sure to subscribe. And if you are interested in buying a home in Midland or another community in Mid Michigan, be sure to hit me up. My contact information is in the description below. Of course, be sure to check out my link tree. You can find my other social pages, including my TikTok, where I post new content daily. Until next time, my name is Michael from Keller Williams Preferred. And thank you very much for watching.